contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Horn. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Horn, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, Your Eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. That's right. Until now, I've never been invited by Lord Mortimer. You'll see. You won't soon forget it. Given what I've seen so far, I wish I'd been passed over. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah! Are you all right? Mother? Oh shit, your hand! So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to no, do. No, no, Mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you... if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But... I trusted you. No, Sarah! Don't! No! No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for it. You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Well, I've devoted myself to the interests of France to the best of my abilities. A few years ago, I had a brush with some of your fellow countrymen. Counter-revolutionaries, I'd imagine. Exactly. They got away thanks to a little diversion I came up with to keep the sans culottes away. Believe me, they came close to adorning the walls of the catacombs of Paris. 
So that young French diplomat was you? The mercy you showed the agents of the Queen roused the admiration of the court. Few would have let them leave France alive. Duchess, I'm surprised that anyone still remembers. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met? Don't you remember? We bumped into each other at Mesmer's show in Paris. That fraudster had even bamboozled the Marquis of Lafayette. You too, apparently, because I've never been to see him. Ouch! Well, that didn't work. Right, time to go to the manor. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Lord Mortimer asked me to come as quickly as possible to find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Ah. Oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. 
Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Good Lord! Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friends! Holy shit! That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh. We shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this Holm. I saw him in my vision. See what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind, I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry, Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I... I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. And you, Emily, what do you think of my mother? I only know her through the Order. The one time we met, we only exchanged a few words in a corridor of Parliament. And was the exchange courteous or impassioned? I'm not sure if I understand. Was there any reason for her to be angry with you? Under other circumstances, I would slap your face for even asking. But I'll put your lack of tag down to her disappearance. Know that your mother is a woman I would love to work with. Her reputation is entirely deserved. Mr. Washington will be able to tell you more. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Where did you first meet her? I met Sarah during the War of Independence on American soil. She was introduced to me by a mutual acquaintance, and I must say that her sound advice prevented me from making some terrible mistakes. She may not be a soldier, but believe me, she deserves a statue as much as Lafayette does. <sighs> well, I didn't see that one coming. There's no doubt Mother has many secrets that are still hidden. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. May I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? So, my mother was with you during the American Revolution. Did you talk about politics? Yes. In spite of her young age, she defended our cause with enthusiasm. Did she go to the front line like your famous gunner, Molly Pitcher? Yes, in a way. The role given to women in your war was a great step forward. Lui, I am impressed. Few people know about the legend of Molly. So you don't know the true story. Molly Pitcher is a character invented by Sarah. She persuaded me to use a heroic female figure, an American Joan of Arc, if you will. 
It enabled us to gain a few thousand extra fighters, and it was all thanks to your mother. I... 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 I didn't know that. Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. I wonder if Mother is still on the island. Could she not have taken a boat and left? I don't see how. No vessel can moor closer than 200 yards. Not to mention the permanent presence of staff and servants. There is one strange thing, I grant you. This island is barely the size of Delaware, and despite that, no one has been able to locate your mother. So my mother still must be on the island. But I did find a book that belongs to my mother. Where did you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the wharf. Do you think she was preparing to discreetly leave? I don't know. An extremely likely proposition. I'll believe it when I see it. Don't worry, Louis. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Yes, I, I hope not. Careful, they're coming back. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir so, Hall, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your room. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Louis? Emily? I can explain. Perhaps, but remain still. First, you could perhaps remove the blade from my throat? You have ten seconds to explain your presence here. I'm not here for you. What are you doing in my room? First of all, let's keep calm. My being here is just a coincidence. 
Anyway, I seriously doubt what I'm doing in your room is really the question that interests you. Now is it? Clever boy. So answer the question that does interest me. What were you really doing on the balcony? A young soldier arrived this evening. Someone was waiting for him in his room. I wanted to find out more, and what I heard was worth the risk. All right, go on. Has this anything to do with the Order? Oh, yes. Washington informed me you were part of the Order. You too? You're part of this too? Yes. Now answer. Do these events concern me? Do they involve the Golden Order? I overheard a conversation between a French soldier and some other individual. And what were they talking about? It seems Mother is involved. Something about a military campaign? Apparently my mother validated an order of cannons to help this man. Really? Since when does the Order finance wars? As far as I know, since never. Did they give any details, a date, what they were for? Nothing at all. Did you know anything about this? No, but I won't forget. Thank you. All right, Louis, I might have overreacted a bit. Please do excuse me, but next time, please try knocking on my door. I'd be delighted to open it for you. Oh, well, I'll remember in that case. Good night, Emily. Good night, Louis. Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army, and Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Thank you again for the wine, Your Eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. Uh, please, I am delighted to be here. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> Is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Oh. Such complexity. Typically French. A Soudan, isn't it? Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some mm -hmm. small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. <laughs> the bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful <laughs> Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. <laughs> oh, monsieur, you must be joking. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mention that orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. <laughs> ah. <laughs> 
Is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. Thank you, Jimmy Lornish. What do you think of Volner? The Prussian king is his puppet. I find it hard to believe the king of Prussia is so weak. Be careful. Volner is as influential as he is dangerous. You seem to know each other well. We used to work together. I see. <laughs> Sake, Emily. You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're talking about. First my room, now here. Stop following me. You're becoming a nuisance. Wait a minute. Are you... You're not implying that I'm here to court you, are you? Oh, Louis, I'm just stating the obvious. You wouldn't be the first, rest assured. Yeah, this is embarrassing. The worst thing is it, it seems to be working. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. I've discovered a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret room. Something must have attracted her here, so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? My, you're curious. Let me guess. Go on then, impress me. You're spying on Mortimer, right? Everyone is spying on Mortimer. Shall I take that for a yes? Take it as you please, but I wouldn't be surprised if all the guests were around here somewhere searching the manor. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh yeah, in your dreams. At your service, madam. Carry on searching. I found an amazing ring. There's an inscription engraved on it. Emily, when I see that ring, I can no longer hold back my feelings for you. Oh, stop it. You're being ridiculous. What do you mean? I was just about to get down on one knee. Golden Fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrible thing. <laughs> That's a pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And your flattery brings out your boorishness. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. I bet you've read them cover to cover. Naturally. Really? I'm curious. Tell me, what part stood out the most to you? The passage where Mary says to Joseph, Hey, you, shut up. In other words, you haven't even opened one. Cersei. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's Laurel Reef. Don't put your grubby, fat fingers on it. You find my fingers fat? 
<laughs> At least put on some gloves. Please note, my fingers are slim. You were going to leave marks. My god, what an amateur. Many a harpsichord players would love to have sexy fingers like mine. Tell me where you took your infiltration classes so I can have your tutor executed. Let's compare hands then. We'll soon see whose fingers are fattest. <laughs> no, I'm not going to compare hands with you. Let's just keep going. Bad loser. Oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. You should see the sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. This weapon is typically French, quite old, undoubtedly goes back to the Crusades. If it is a true Damask sword, it's worth more than a kingdom. I think this is Excalibur, King Arthur's sword. I've always dreamt of drawing it from the stone. How sweet, you're still clinging to your boyhood dreams. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? Amber crystals. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old, and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? See those fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. These documents must be fakes. No man can own that many original works, no matter how rich he is. Be careful. The Order has tried many times to estimate his personal wealth without ever succeeding. And look here. Castles in Scotland, vineyards in Italy, districts in Venice. He's richer than some European countries. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Mortimer's collection is unique, isn't it? That's an understatement. No doubt he has a major passion for history and fine art. Or getting gifts. If each time Mortimer does someone a favor, they reward him with a priceless gift, that means he must have helped nearly everybody in the world. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. I can't trust a man who sneaks into my room in the middle of the night. Are you really going to use that against me every time we meet? It's difficult to pretend nothing happened. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want? What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. 
If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit, you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Pragmatic, intelligent, sure of herself. Her only weak spot is her difficulty talking about herself. I don't know much about your past, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own for much of your life. It might have closed you off, and that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, you may be right. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? I don't see us as partners for life. You won't owe me anything, you know. It doesn't commit you to anything after all. All right, you've gone to a lot of trouble. You deserve an answer. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. When it comes to getting results, you are very good, I grant you that. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh, now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes, you can't imagine to what extent though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir home and bring back the details, so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from home, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. 
Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Excuse me, Elizabeth, but some very urgent business has cropped up. We can speak tomorrow. No, Louis, don't leave me alone. They've come back. Good night, madam. Well, well, Louis, you took your sweet time. What did our poor Elizabeth want? The real question would be this. What exactly are you doing, Emily, in my room? I've enjoyed our discussions very much, and I had hoped that we could continue them. Emily, have I misunderstood something here? What are you doing in my room? And for a while now, the question has been nagging at me. And that explains why I now find you here in my bed. Go ahead, ask me the question that's been burning at your lips. I know your mother was here to meet someone, but I can't figure out who. Oh, so that's what's been hiding behind all this. We are both members of the Order, Louis. Let's try to be honest with each other. I have followed with great interest your affair in Paris, in connection with Mr. Von Borchert. You managed to steal something from him, if I'm not mistaken. Emily, you suddenly seem to be very... Very interested in my private affairs. You aren't pumping me for information, are you? Not in the least, Louis. I'm deeply hurt that you'd even think such a thing of me. Look, I'm sorry, I... I just thought that... Well, you thought wrong. I was interested in you, that's all. But that seems to be beyond you. Don't take it like that. My mother and I recovered an old occult book that Von Burchard was planning to resell on the black market. There. Now you know it all. This is quite fascinating. But just what did Sarah expect to accomplish here? If only I knew myself. My mother always takes a sly pleasure in telling me as little as possible. Oh, poor little Louis. Your mother hides things from you. That's not very nice. No, it's not nice at all. And you? What were you supposed to do once the book was found? Give it to our sponsor, of course. Sir Gregory has more than one card up his sleeve. So you mean home is playing both sides? Right. Enough chatting. Come and join me instead. I have to go, Louis. I don't want anyone finding me here in the morning. You're right. Well, have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, rested and ready. Sure thing. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. What can I do for you, Louis? I've come to see you about last night's tragedy. Did you hear anything about what happened to Elizabeth? Yes, we all did. Rumors spread quickly, you know. How awful. I didn't know her well, but I hope at least the poor thing didn't suffer too much. Death came quickly. You can be assured of that. 
If such a senseless act can happen here, then none of us is truly safe anywhere. Lord Mortimer must be mortified that one of his guests could have committed such an act, don't you think? He is indeed very upset about it. It's only natural after such a violent murder. Violent? What do you mean? Elizabeth was stabbed nine times. Oh my god, Louis. How awful. The murderer must have had a serious grudge against her to set upon her like that. It must have been a crime of passion. Do you know what happened exactly? In fact, Lord Mortimer has asked me to look into this case, Emily. Really? Are you Lord Mortimer's snoop now? I'm doing it for Elizabeth, not to please Mortimer. Good for you. Quite right, too. Have you found out anything? I found a torn piece of dress in Miss Adams' room. Gray silk. Where's it from? That's what I'm trying to find out. The color doesn't match any of Elizabeth's dresses, but I might not have found all of her clothes yet. Good Lord, Louia. I... Do you realize what this means? If this piece of dress isn't from Elizabeth, then it's... I don't have any gray silk dresses, Louis. Neither does my sister, since we wear the same clothes. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to check with you. I'm so sorry, Louis. Thank you. Are you all right? You know, I'm sure there's a good reason why your mother was at the scene. Thank you, Emily. We found the murder weapon. What is it? A dagger. Quite slim. Have you found its owner? Not yet. Still searching as it happens. That said, since a blade penetrated the body several times, the murderer's hand will have been covered in blood. You think that's a clue? The handprint was a very slender hand, Emily. Probably that of a woman. Do you realize what that means? There are only three of us on the island. Bearing in mind that neither my sister nor myself had any reason to set upon the young lady, that means... I know, Emily. I know. Keep up your courage, Louis. I'm sure there's an explanation. You're bound to shed some light on it all. If what you say is true, Emily, I'm less and less enthusiastic about shedding any light on the subject. Since your arrival, did you notice anything strange about Elizabeth? Everything that happened around that poor child was strange. You saw that for yourself. I know. You're right. I'm looking for leads to try to reduce the number of suspects. Well, I would say that in addition to ourselves, you could also cross off President Washington. I went to see him during the night. I had some business with him, and I can confirm that he didn't leave his room all night. Hmm. That gives Washington an alibi. Did you and Elizabeth get to know each other? I must admit, Louis, I... I didn't take much interest in her. I feel a bit guilty about it, but I never actually spoke to her. She seemed burdened by her problems, and as she wasn't invited to the conference, I didn't really seek her out. I won't keep you, Emily. Thank you for answering my questions. See you, Louis. A devil's thorn, to be used to uncover the best disguised traits. Queen Charlotte. All the royal family of England is there, from what I can tell. A letter from William Pitt the Elder, addressed to Emily. He was the English Prime Minister. This letter dates from 15 years ago now. Madam, I shall never thank you enough for all your care and attention. I shall be indebted to you until my last breath. If you have any request of me, you only need ask. With regards to my son William, I shall never thank you enough for looking after him. You know the latter's preferences, and you will understand he needs you desperately. For that, and as agreed with Queen Charlotte, our friend Duke Hillsborough will carry out his task and meet with you within six months. From then on, you'll be free from want. Yours sincerely, William Pitt, Count of Chatham. from William Pitt the Younger addressed to Emily. He's the present Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Emily has indeed some powerful backers. 
Madam, thank you for consoling the Queen. The King's situation is worsening, but I wager he'll recover from this present fit. Next time you speak with Her Majesty the Queen, would you please be so kind as to ask her to look into my petition to raise taxes with the King? I will personally see to it that our nation will recover from this impasse. But King George's mental situation is slowing down our decision-taking. Thank you in advance for all your help. William Pitt, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain. Dear E, I received your last letter. Unfortunately, the Crown informed the Golden Order that our mission should under no circumstances hamper Sir Gregory's plans. Decidedly, they have support from the highest level in Buckingham Palace. So here we both are, hands and feet tied, and little room to maneuver. Keep me abreast of events. Our mission is becoming more complicated. Yours, E. P.S. The French chapter of the Order doesn't appear to know anything about the arrival of our friend Sarah. I therefore cannot comment on it. However, my guess is that she has come here for personal reasons. The Lady's Waldegrave by Reynolds, painted upon the request of the Waldegrave family in an effort to find them a husband. Displayed like meat, it's disgusting. Grammar of Port-Royal. Ah, the artistry of the French language and all its splendor. Whoever masters French commands the world. At least, une partie of it. King George III in coronation robes. Nice touch for the room of an English duchess. Tending children at the orphanage in Harlem. I find it a little hard to understand this painting choice. Emily, I must speak to you. What's the matter, Louis? About last night, I'm guessing. I, sadly, no. Even if I'd like to have, I... Alas, there are more pressing matters. I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look, I've started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, her rank in the Order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. It must have been Emma I saw in my vision. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. If mothers really killed their sister, I'd better find her by myself. They say they spent a lot of time together. They got along well. Oh, really? Do you think your mother liked Duchess Hillsborough? Of course she did. After all, she's your sister. Well, we'll find them, Emily. Trust me. Should I speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. Emily, there's something else. Go on, then. It's... it's about your sister. I don't know what happened exactly, but it's possible that my mother had a go at her. I know, Louis. I found out that same evening. Well, thanks for not trying to hide it. What? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't know if I could trust you. Now I know I can. It seems that your mother tricked Emma. She apparently asked her to hide an important book, so that even she wouldn't know where it was. And then she shot her like a dog to make sure no one would ever find it again. Why would she do that? I don't know, Louis. But I'll find out. You can count on that. I'm sincerely sorry, Emily. Thank you, Louis. You're very kind. It means a lot to me. But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. Th there must be an explanation, Emily. That's what we shall see. We'll speak about it later, somewhere safe. Come, Louis. They're waiting for us. France, 
is lost. Gentlemen, please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name of holiness, he was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. Gentlemen, Duchess, we're all among people of reputable company here. We should be able to manage the conflicts of our nations in a respectful and orderly manner. I fully agree with you, sir. But that's enough, sir. What do you want, Louis? I have a question that might seem a bit strange, but... Go on. If I said, go beyond the nightmare, would that mean anything to you? Mm. No, means nothing to me. Do you mean literally or figuratively speaking? In the figurative sense, probably. I'm trying to understand what it refers to. Well, if I come up with anything, I'll let you know. What do you think of our last guest? Well, I never thought I would get the chance to meet that Hispanic Casanova in the flesh. His reputation is well known. The gentleman collects lovers, including, would you believe it, the Queen of Spain. I doubt that Lord Mortimer invited him for his charm, if you want my opinion. Emily, what can you tell me about the coming conference? Sir Gregory and Lord Mortimer organize this kind of high society meeting every so often in order to consider the world situation. But to what purpose? Well, by bringing together the most influential people from the dominant nations of the modern world, they allow the mighty to discuss matters with calm clarity. There are precedents of armistices being signed at the end of these talks, you know. Talking while holding a glass of brandy makes things easier. You'll see. You're leaving me? Unfortunately, I have things to do. Thank you again, madam. But you do realize your mother will have to accept the consequences of her acts. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Feeling all right, Louis? You look like you're miles away. Everything's fine. Don't worry. Lord Mortimer wants to talk to you, Louis. Don't make him wait. First of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time to come. The honor is ours, my lord. Welcome, Monsieur. I Monsieur. hope he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. The order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, Manuel. You're not going to spoil our visit. The Order's mission was not to protect King Louis XVI, as far as I am aware. We are talking about a king of divine blood, for goodness sake! It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. If the Golden Order wants to pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive! Monsieur de Richet has an opinion on this subject, does he not? In any case, my lord, I doubt the English crown will agree. Ich will sicher erinnern, Emily. Nie Preußen wird diese Vereinbarung akzeptieren. Good evening, Monsieur le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? That's not what I said. Ah, by the way, you surprised me during the conference. Why is that? Well, you are going to lose. Why stay with Lord Mortimer? I believe he has every chance of winning. My, you are a rash one. However, if ever you want to change sides, please feel free to let me know. But tell me, you didn't come here to try and make me change my mind, did you? That's the last thing on my mind. Although you would have everything to gain by it. There's no point trying to persuade me. Don't hold it against me. Of course not, silly. Louis, if you trust me, you ought to ask yourself why I have chosen home. You do trust me, don't you? Of course, Emily. Admit, though, that it does make you think. There's still time, you know. Join us, before it's too late. Unfortunately, my word is my bond. I don't want to leave Lord Mortimer in the lurch. Very well, as you wish. It's up to you to decide. Tell me. 
Are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? Well, I should imagine you're still shaken. I promise to shed light on my mother's circumstances as soon as possible. There's not much to shed light on. What your mother did is inexcusable. She won the trust of my sister in order to more easily betray her. She didn't do anything to her. I... Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Come, Louis. How can he be so blind? If he keeps this up, he'll lead our countries to their destruction. Don't worry, we shall counter him, Sir Gregory. We have to act immediately. Calm down, Gregory. We only have to vote against his project, and that's it. They haven't got a chance. Just one vote will suffice. True. There is no chance of a unanimous vote. And he knows it. He must be preparing something else. What is he plotting? We shall shortly find out, so let's take the lead. What do you mean by that? His plan begins with Louisiana, which is still yours, Duke Manuel. He will begin with you. Expect to receive an envoy, French most probably. He will try to convince you by every possible means. Whatever he says, whatever he promises, you have just one response. It's war. If war is what you want, war is what you'll get. And on your own territory, in your homes. Enough games. Spain will join the coalition against France and declare war. You too, Duchess Hillsborough. You will speak to the Queen so that Great Britain commits to going to war with France. Good evening, Monsieur le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? That's not what I said. Ah, by the way, congratulations on choosing Sir Gregory this evening. You surprised me. I wasn't expecting it. Why, Emily? Can't you read me like an open book? Not as well as you read me, it would seem. I'll teach you if you'd like. There's nothing I'd like more. Tell me, are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? I've seen her, Emily. What? When was that? A little earlier, just before the conference. She was hiding. And did you manage to speak to her? She's not the same. I, I don't know what's been happening to her, but she's changed. I found her in a deplorable state with, with one of her hands cut off. I mean, she was saying crazy things bordering on delirium. What? Did you say one of her hands was cut off? What happened to her? I don't know. She, she wouldn't say. And did she tell you why she... why... why she shot Emma? But how do you know she shot Emma? I didn't tell you. You knew it? And you never said anything? Well, Louis, keeping your little secrets to yourself, that's not nice. I was afraid for you. No need to justify yourself, you know. We both have our secrets. Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Come, Louis. Emily? Emily? Are you there?
Sir, the conference is about to begin. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Thank you. Come on, Louis. The game is back on. Good evening, Monsieur le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? Emily, if you don't mind, I've had an exhausting day. I can hardly stand. Are you sending me away? No, no, not at all. But I was thinking of going to bed, to be honest. Would there perhaps be a little space for me in your large and cold bed? Now, don't take this the wrong way, Emily, but I have to turn this proposition down, as tempting as it is. It's late. It's going to be a big day tomorrow. We'd better get some rest in our rooms. Very well, I understand. Good night, Emily. Sleep tight. Thank you. Same to you. You see, the situation has changed since last night. What's going on here, my Lord Duke? You see, I gave it some thought during the night. New arguments have come to light. What do you mean, Duke Manuel? Sir Gregory, I regret to inform you that Spain will not support you in this operation. I vote for. Moreover, in response to arguments brought to my attention, I declare war on France! What? What is he doing? If you think France is afraid of you, you are dreaming. Over ten nations rise against you, young man. And you behave like a yapping little dog? When the French armies are at your door, my Lord Duke, you will change your tune. Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. What? So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, remember me to your husband when you see him. You have given us all a fine lesson in courage. I... thank you. Next time, I'll listen to my mother. Not a day has gone by without something happening to me. What now? Louis, open up, please. Coming, Mr. President, I'm coming. Louis, oh, there you are at last. Yes, I... I just saw your mother. She was accompanied by Emily, and they both went into the Duchess's room. I tried to join them, but I was refused entry. Louis, this does not bode well. Oh, shit. Emily might want to avenge your sister. I must act quickly. You're right, Mr. President. Thank you. I do believe that's Emily's voice. I can't understand what she's saying. I have to get inside Emily's room through the shit. It's locked. Huh. Did you do that to me? It's as if there are several people inside. 
Once again, you're the one who's the victim in all this. What are you on about now? I should never have told you what happened to me. That's how it works, and you know it full well. I'm not that naive. I know you inside out. Stop! We'll end up losing everything if you keep on. What on earth is... You... Mother? How dare you do this to me? You can talk. After everything I've done for you. You are joking, I hope. Right? I gave you my life. That's enough, Emma. Now that Louis is here, you will leave Sarah alone. Cease your revenge immediately. What? What? If you think you're going to... Louis, help me, I beg you. I can no longer reason with her. I am Emily. Quit playing games. I... What? Honestly, don't be ridiculous. No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. After everything we've been through together. Yes, well... Don't you dare bring him into this. This is between you and me. I ask for nothing more, so stop taking it out on Sarah. I... You prissy little bitch! How dare you! Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? You are joking, I hope. I'm the one who told you everything that's been going on while you were away. Go on, then. That's what you want, isn't it? You want to kill me? Go on, then! Shoot! After all the trouble I've gone through to find you. Go on. What are you waiting for? Here, Louis, take this. Wait, what's going- An entire life for this. Go on, shoot. Sorry, Louis, I, I can't shoot her. She's my sister. I... That's enough, Emma. Louis, out of the way. She's dangerous. Don't trust her. What are you trying to do? Louis, out of the way. I am not Emma! Come on, Louis, tell her who the real Emily is. Wait, I- That's right, Louis. I'm fed up with this little game. Tell him who the real Emily is. Why do these things always happen to me? Well, Louis, come on, you know how to tell us apart, right? Yes, yes, but I'd like to ask you a few questions to make sure there's no doubt. Rational and open, Louis. Let's see. How can I tell them apart? Wait. I've got an idea. On the night of our arrival... You had asked me what had become of me since we last met in London some years before. What did I answer? That you are a diplomat, Louis. You even told me about the troubles you had saving some compatriots during the French Revolution. I already told her, Louis. I was there. Right. Let's find something else. Ah, yes. Let's speak about my arrival at the manor. On the night of our arrival, we were warming ourselves in front of the fire. Mortimer welcomed us in a certain way. What happened exactly? Well played, Louis. Unfortunately, I'm not the one you should have asked that question to. Mortimer did not welcome us. It was Sir Gregory who welcomed us that night. Mortimer didn't show up until two days later. I know that as well. Very well. Let's try something else. On the first night, we went up to bed. But I wasn't tired. I went for a little stroll. Do you remember if we saw each other that night or not? Not at all. Don't think you're going to get away with this deception so easily. I can assure you, you're going to regret pretending to be me once Louis has exposed you. Right. I don't think I'll get very far like this. I'll have to find something better. Oh, I don't think I'll even wait until he's finished. Take it easy now. Are you mad, Louis? Lower your arm. Oh, I better act quickly if I don't want things to get out of hand. Come on! She's putting one over on you! Look at yourself for crying out loud. You were prepared to shoot me down. In the secret room behind the study. Talk to them about what you've been doing. Maybe they haven't spoken about it between each other yet. On the night of the disappearance of Elizabeth Adams. What about it? What do you want to know about that night?
Before going to bed, we found ourselves in an odd situation. You surprised me searching through Mortimer's secret gallery, behind the chimney. You were looking for clues about your mother. That's enough! I've had enough of this charade. Louis, there's only one way to tell us apart. There's just one thing I didn't tell her about in detail. Too bad for you, Emma. I didn't want it to come to this, but you leave me no choice. Ask her about you and I. You just lost Emma. I indeed didn't tell you everything about it. Come, Louis. Speak about our intimacy. Very well. Let's talk about us. Last night, you came to me in my room. What exactly did we talk about? We spoke briefly about your choices during the conference, Louis. What do you mean? Yes, Emma. It just so happens I didn't tell you everything. You yes. I never told you about this part. I hate you! That's enough, both of you. Now I know who the real Emily is. You are Emily Hillsborough. I knew you wouldn't get it wrong, Louis. No! You little bitch! Watch out, Louis! No! Hell, what have I done? See what you've done. See. Louis? What on earth is going- Mother! Go! You must leave. Everyone's going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Is everything all right? Go! Go, Mother! No one must find you here. Go! Come, Louis. There's nothing more you can do. But I... Leave us. Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily. Madam, I'm coming in. It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her, please. Go, I'll cover you. It's you, Emily. No, Louis! She is manipulating you! No, Emma. It's her. I know it. Despite all the trouble you've gone to to put one over on me, I know it is her. That's enough now, Emma. You little slut! Don't think you are going to get away with this so easily. You are going to stop your little game right now. Never! I am Duchess Hills. No! Emily? I am the Duchess. But... You don't! I... Dear God, what have I done? See what you've done! See? Louis? Mother! What on earth is... Go away! You must go. Everyone is going to arrive. Louis, what's going on? Duchess? Is everything all right? Come on, Louis! There's nothing more you can do! But I... Leave us. Emily, what's going on? Mother, go to the crypt. I'll meet you there. I'll be waiting for you. Emily. Madam, I am coming in. It was bound to end like this, Louis. Let me stay with her. Please, go. I'll cover you. Good God! They're all here. They must have heard the gunshot. Where is Lord Mortimer? Can anyone hear anything through the door? Did you hear that? 
I was not dreaming, was I? Certainly not, Duke Godoy. What's going on? Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Gentlemen, go back to your rooms. Go back to your rooms. I shall find out from Lord Mortimer what this is all about. Thank you. My instructions are clear, sir. No one is to enter. Now that I've told you everything, you want to take my place, do you? No. I am Emily. You are wasting your time. Louis knows very well how to tell us apart. Someone had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Oh no! No, Mother! Louis? It was an accident, I'm sorry. I didn't have a choice. She attacked me. I... I didn't want to hurt her. What happened? I was on the wharf. It was dark. She seemed to be preparing to depart. I moved closer. I wanted us to talk, but as soon as she saw me, she threatened me. I wanted her to explain to me in her own words what had happened to Emma. I had to know what happened, Louis. You understand that, don't you? Did she say anything before she died? I didn't understand everything. She was in a blind rage. She pointed her pistol at me. She spoke to me as if I were you and called me Louis. She said you look so much like her and that she was so proud to have a son like you. Did my mother say how proud she was to have me for a son? That's right. My mother would have never said that. You're lying. Why? He does have a spine. So Sarah couldn't be proud of her beloved son, hmm? How in heavens would I know? You're not Emily. Surprise, little Louie. <laughs> it took you long enough, though. Yes, you got it wrong. You didn't choose the right one. It took you long enough to figure it out, though. Oh, I felt sorry for you when I saw you couldn't even recognize her, Louie. What do you expect? It wasn't my fault. Yes, you spent a night with her. She can't have made much of an impression on you. Amen. Shut it! Was it perhaps that night we spent together after the conference that persuaded you that I was worth more than her? I... what? Oh, you still don't get it. The night of the conference? It wasn't poor Emily who paid you a little visit in your room. Oh, she was much too busy with Monsieur Bonaparte. No, that's not true. It was me, of course. I assure you, you got something a whole lot better. And when I think, she wasn't even armed when I arrived. Right. Take a moment to think and meet me at the manor later. You're crazy! Now, now, Louis, don't push it. I understand your grief, but I won't put up with that sort of talk from you or anybody. If he says one more word, I won't be around to satisfy any of his desires. But I... You've lost your mind. That's enough. That's not how you talk to a lady. She's dark raving mad. Uh. Die, you bitch. I was on the wharf. It was dark. She seemed to be preparing to depart. I moved closer. I wanted us to talk, but as soon as she saw me, she threatened me. I wanted her to explain to me in her own words what had happened to Emma. I had to know what happened, Louis. You understand that, don't you? Tell me exactly what happened. I told you. I was on the other side of the wharf when she arrived. I wanted to get closer. She was muttering to herself. She was hurling abuse at Lord Mortimer. When she saw me, she pulled out a pistol and pointed it at me. I'm so sorry. I'd like to be alone. Of course. 
I'm going up to the manor. You manipulated us all. You're going to pay. What is at stake here far outweighs our personal interests. Our personal I'm... interests? You betrayed me. Emily, no! It won't bring Emma back. Don't let your anger get the better of you. I don't believe it. You still don't get it. I'm not Emily, stupid! You went as far as killing your own sister? You're the one who pointed her out. You only have yourself to blame. And even after going to bed with her, you were incapable of telling us apart! Oh, dear God! Surprise, Sarah! You can't just get rid of me like that, you old hag! Do you realize what you did? Oh, poor Louis. He's upset about me getting rid of his little sweetheart. Your dual identity has just been ripped to shreds. You're not going to be able to hide anymore. Hide? <laughs> you still don't get it. Don't be a fool. I am the only Duchess Hillsborough now. I am free. Duchess, I am sorry about what happened. You had a choice! You use people according to your desires without any scruples. Excuse me, but we are in the same line of business. Shut it! And Emily knew it very well. No, Emma, look at me. She would never endanger herself for the sake of the Order. Her sense of duty gave way to her personal interest. In the end, Sir Gregory was the only one who was truly honest with me. He has opened my eyes more in two days than my sister did in a whole lifetime. Sir Gregory? You've got to be joking, right? You're not really going to trust him, are you? I trust Gregory. He's always honest with me. Well, it looks like you backed the wrong horse. You'll lose everything if you follow Sir Gregory. Mortimer will win, Emma, and you should be on his side. Never! That bastard betrayed me like all the rest of them. I will never sink so low as to serve him. Do you understand me? She should never have tried to shoot Emma, me. Emma, no! Don't move! Louis, remember in Paris? I trust you, son. Now, Louis! No! No, damn it! No! Why did you do that? Louis! No, no, no! Come on, mother. Hang in there. You're gonna get through this. Do not trust him. I am proud of you, my son. No! Mother! No! You manipulated us all. You're going to pay. What is at stake here far outweighs our personal interests. Our personal I'm... interests? You betrayed me. Emily, no! What an idiot. He still doesn't get it. But, wait. How has Sarah betrayed you? I don't believe it. You still don't get it. I'm not Emily, stupid! You went as far as killing your own sister? You're the one who pointed her out. You only have yourself to blame. Oh, dear God! Surprise, Sarah! You can't just get rid of me like that, you old hag! Do you realize what you did? Oh, poor Louis. He's upset about me getting rid of his little sweetheart. Emily loved you, Emma. You endured everything together. You were never alone. It's... you have no idea what I had to endure. But it must have been the same for Emily. You both went through so much. She always saved the worst situations for me. How many times have I had to climb into bed with some man I'd never even seen before because Emily had seduced him during the day? Emma, it's obvious you suffered a great deal because of the path your lives took. But don't try convincing yourself that your sister didn't suffer too. Duchess, I am sorry about what happened. You had a choice! 
You use people according to your desires without any scruples. Excuse me, but we are in the same line of business. Shut it! And Emily knew it very well. No, Emma, look at me. She would never endanger herself for the sake of the Order. Her sense of duty gave way to her personal interest. In the end, Sir Gregory was the only one who was truly honest with me. He has opened my eyes more in two days than my sister did in a whole lifetime. Sir Gregory? You've got to be joking, right? You're not really going to trust him, are you? I trust Gregory. He's always honest with me. Emma, you don't realize. You're just a pawn to Sir Gregory, like the rest of us. He has never lied to me. He took me in, took care of me. Something that no one else has ever done for me. But why did he do it? You didn't have any particular item which he desperately wanted you to give him, for example? No, I... Emma, you are the only one who knows where the Al-Azif is hidden. He's using you. It's that! It's all Mortimer's fault! Mortimer is responsible for his share of all of this, but he's not playing alone. Home is serving his own interests, too. There's been enough deaths! No, it, it isn't fair. I haven't done all this for nothing. Home promised me I could be the only Duchess Hillsborough from now on. Unless you decide to kill everyone on this island, you'll have to explain your actions once you get back. All this effort to become the only Duchess Hillsborough ruined in an instant. She betrayed me! You will be tracked down, hunted like a criminal. In the end, there will have only been one Duchess Hillsborough. In I am Duchess Hillsborough! You will not die by my hand today, Sarah. She deserves to die. In fact, I think that honor goes to you. Where is the Alazif? Sir Gregory planned to get it off the island by boat. I wouldn't be surprised if he sends it with the next shipment for the continent, but I don't know when that is. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. We have to talk. I was just wondering. Uh, oh, what's she smiling for? Right. I shall begin. It's going to be an awful lot for you to take in on just one day. But I must tell you that I'm a demon too. Excuse me? I know that you are too. Gregory told me everything during my convalescence. And that isn't all. I'm also Mortimer's daughter. You understand? What that means, I hope. I, uh... That's right. I am a demon too. And I am your sister. And we also slept together. But don't be too hard on yourself. It's a bit unnatural when you think about it. But um, then you couldn't know. This way at least, everything stays in the family. It's for the best. It mustn't prevent us from living out our affair in the open, however. Our affair? Have you lost your mind? I'm far too soft on you. I'll let you have everything, of course. So don't be nasty, if you don't mind. She's not all there. It's... it's plain to see. Yes. True, it's... it's been a long day. Yes. You ought to get some rest. You can sleep there. You know that, right? Although, thinking about it, best remain discreet for the time being. We shall go see Father later and tell him everything. Of course, he'll be disappointed because he bet it would be Emily, I think. Whoa. She is completely mad. But I think he will be proud of me when all is said and done. She's talking to herself. She can't even see me. He loves me. Oh, he loves me not. Yes, we'll have to tell Father all about this. But I don't want to live on this island. It's too cold. There's no point in insisting anymore. I'm going, Emma. 
Yes, I'll see you later. La, 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 Louis. La, la, la. She deserves to die. In fact, I think that honour goes to you. Just you and me now. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Sir, I am sorry, but I cannot let you enter. Emily, what are you doing here? You wouldn't have seen... Mother? No! No, what's happened? No, Mother! No! She's ruined my life, Louis. I am sorry. What were you thinking? Emma meant everything to me. Your mother destroyed everything by shooting her. She was me, and I was her. You're the one who killed Emma, not my mother. And it wouldn't have happened if Sarah hadn't struck out at Emma first. Dear God, I beg you, make him kill me. I've had enough of it all. I no longer have the strength in me. I needed to talk to her. She was going to tell me everything. I am sorry. I did what Emma would have done. Get out of here! Why have you always lied to me? Why didn't you ever tell me I was his son? She was going to tell me everything! You shot her in cold blood. What is at stake here far outweighs our personal interests. I, our I should- Our personal interests? I'm talking about my sister's life. She was my other half. Calm down, Emily, calm down. Louis, don't come near me. I warned you what would happen if I found her. I was so hoping it wouldn't end like this. I'm fed up with all these deaths. Emily, put the weapon down. She... she has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Well, to be fair, we've all made mistakes. And look at her, Emily. She's paid for hers. I'm all alone now. Duchess. I am sorry for what happened. I didn't have any choice. Are oh, you? Shut your mouth. You had the choice, all right. You use people according to your own desires, without any scruples. Excuse me, Duchess, but we're in the same line of business. Shut it! And as for Emma, she knew only too no, well. No, Emily. Look at me, Emily. What did you say? No, I'm not like her and never will be. You're not like her. Neither you nor Emma are like Sarah. Ever since you got here, you've always tried to help me. I trust you, Emily. And Emma would never have betrayed me either. No, she... she wasn't like that. She was loyal. But why did Sarah betray Emma? Why? I... your sister was supposed to hide something, and no one was supposed to have been able to find it. And? She would never have talked, even under torture. 
So why get rid of her? Unfortunately, Emily, the creatures who live here employ methods that no one can resist. I was going to get her out of there, for God's sake. So what are you talking about? Don't tell me Emma died because of that book. I have to know anything but that damn book. Emily Mortimer's a demon, in the literal sense of the word. What a- Lord Mortimer has been around since the Third Crusade. He fiddles with his family records so he can keep maintaining his identity. I know it sounds crazy, but I swear on everything I hold dear, that's the truth. What? But when did- Louis, I- Do you realize what you are asking me to believe? I know, but it's the truth, Emily. How do you expect me to accept this? We are in the Golden Order precisely to fight against such beliefs. Do you remember those deeds we found behind the chimney? They weren't fake. There's a reason why they're all signed by his same hand. Demons. In his study, he keeps the Mortimer family tree. They produced only boys, just one per generation since the Third Crusade. And they are all called William. He justifies his own existence, Emily. Look, I'm going to believe you, but if you're taking me for a ride... Unfortunately for us, it'd be impossible to even make up a story like that. All right. I believe you. Thank him. You owe him your life. I have always been very lucky to have him as my son. You shot her in cold blood. What is at stake here far outweighs our personal interests. I, I our should... Our personal interests? I'm talking about my sister's life. She was my other half. Calm down, Emily. Calm down. Louis, don't come near me. I warned you what would happen if I found her. I was so hoping it wouldn't end like this. I'm fed up with all these deaths. Emily, you know full well that it wasn't Sarah who killed Emma. If it weren't for her, none of this would have happened. Maybe, but you can't accuse her of this murder. You're the one who fired Emily. Shut Louis! up! Louis! You had better choose your words a little more carefully, don't you think? Duchess, I am sorry for what happened. I didn't have any choice. Are you? Shut your mouth. You had the choice, all right. You use people according to your own desires, without any scruples. Excuse me, Duchess, but we're in the same line of business. Shut it! And as for Emma, she knew only too no, well. No, Emily. Look at me, Emily. What did you say? No, I'm not like her, and never will be. Look at me! Say that Look again! Look at me, Emily! Emma knew the risks of the job only too well. You're constantly risking your life to serve the Order. You knew the risks involved. We were supposed to rely on our own people, Sarah. You were her superior in the Order. She trusted you! I understand you were trying to protect her, Louis, but it's a lost cause. Don't move! Louis, remember in Paris. Oh no, not again. No, Mother, wait! No, for God's sake! Did she hit you? No! Why did you do that? I could have calmed her down. That's enough. I've had enough! What do you mean? Oh. No! 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 <laughs> Come on, Mother. Hang in there. You're gonna pull through. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. It's... It's too late. Don't trust him! I'm proud of you, my son. No! Mother! No! You go to hell!
Duchess Emily Hillsborough. I am sorry, sir, but access to this room is not authorized by my master. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Emily, can I come in? I... No, it's not a good time. <laughs> not right now. Leave me alone. I can tell from your voice that there's something wrong. Let me in. We have to talk, Emily. I said no, goddamn you. You know full well that getting yourself worked up like this is not going to help. It won't make any difference. It won't bring Emma back. Forget... I couldn't give a damn if it makes any difference. I only want to not think of anything. And then get out of here. I told you not to come in. Emily, I only want to talk. I understand that you're upset after everything... You that... understand? <laughs> you understand nothing. Listen. We're going through a difficult time. Even I'm dumbfounded, dumbfounded and I... Dumbfounded? Dumbfounded? Do you want to know how I feel? Go on. I'm listening. Go on. I'm listening. Do you think you're in the middle of an interrogation? Nobody gives a bloody damn about how I am. We've all lost something here. All this... Everything that's happened, it's a nightmare. I want to wake up. Emily, calm down and put down that glass. I know you're telling the truth about Mortimer and home. I know they are demons. That's not all. Go on. I'm one of them, Emily. I'm a demon too. I know. But, but how? Sir Gregory stopped by to tell me. I... He wanted to bid me a welcome. I don't understand. Welcome to the family. I... Uh, you? You're his daughter? Mortimer's daughter, Louis. That makes you my sister? Yes. Just the thought of the night when I suggested that we... I feel so ashamed, Louis. And that means Emma is your sister too. Oh, shit. I spent the night with my own sister? I was attracted to you from the moment we first spoke on the boat. And now I understand why. Do you realize what that means? I'm a monster. And I am one as well. When I think of my feelings for you, I... Ah, oh, that feeling, it hurts all of a sudden. I... She, she's there, I... I can feel her inside me. She's trying to read my thoughts. Emily, don't... Do that. Get out of my mind, please. Let me remind you that it's forbidden between demons. I... Sorry, Louis. I didn't want to. I have a sister. It's... It's very strange for me, too. A sister for a brother. Yes. Yes. I must get some rest. I must ask you to leave me now. All right, but don't finish that bottle. Don't start now. I would like to get some sleep. I'll be leaving you then. I thank you, Emily.
my friends. Here we all are. <coughs> Isn't the Duchess meant to be with us? No, she's resting in her room. Don't worry. The confidence can resume. She has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Emily? Emily, it's me. Come in, Louis. I just saw that. What's that servant doing in your room? A gift from father. <laughs> You're joking, right? Unfortunately not. He's worried about my health. Ah, oh, typical. Of course, I understand this is in no way an overreaction on his part. Anyway, I've come to see if you're better. That's very nice of you. Thank you. I'd appreciate it if we kept our last discussion to ourselves, Louis. I'm not very proud of the state I was in. Don't worry. Thank you. And did you manage to speak to Mortimer? One moment. I'd rather continue our discussion away from any curious eyes. Follow me next door, please. You wanted to know if we spoke. Well, let's just say he didn't stick around long, but yes, I can definitely say we spoke. Do... do you want to talk about it? He urged me to change sides and join him. Huh. That's not what I was expecting. Yes, you can't say Father allowed himself to get sentimental. And... well, how are you? Did you take it all right? To be honest, I don't know. I feel like I've lost all my bearings. And what about me, then? Do you trust him? Uh, I don't know. It, it's hard to say. He's our father. He has started to initiate me, and he's been pretty fair so far. Now, that said, you can't say he's gone about gaining my trust in the best possible way. What about you? What do you think of him? Honestly, I no longer know who to believe. The only one I really trust is you. So, I shall follow you this time. So, I can count on you for the conference vote then, right? You can. I shall support Mortimer's project. Perfect. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. See you later for the vote. Yes, see you later. You should get ready for the conference, Louis. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Emma? Come in, Louis. What can I do for you? What with... The conference soon upon us. I, I would have thought that... You are absolutely right. I wanted to wait a bit before talking to you, but as you are here, I've been thinking about what we shall do once we get back. How to arrange the house, prepare the rooms for the children. Yes, I want three, and the first one will be a boy. We shall call him Louis, like his father. Oh, man, this just keeps getting worse. She's drifting deeper into madness. It would almost be sad if she didn't entirely deserve it. She wanted to play and she lost. I'm not gonna save her. Anyway, we'll have time to talk about it later. Regarding the conference, as we are going to vote against Mortimer's project, I thought you ought to warn Sir Gregory. No, wait. I'm sure he'll reserve you a prime seat at his side. No, you don't understand. What do you mean? Emma, I think it would be better if we sided with Father. I'm sure he'll be very grateful to us. Over my dead body. I will never side with him. He might be my progenitor, but I refuse to follow him. Listen, we're wasting our time. We are not going to vote for Mortimer. That's all there is to it. The man is sly. He has no scruples at all. And I refuse to pass on any of my credibility to him. Subject closed. Right. This is not going to be easy. What could possibly make her change her mind?
Emma, marry me. You... What? What... What did you just say? Once all this is over, marry me. Your husband is old and he's at death's door. I know it's just a sham. Once he's gone, marry me. But... I thought you were so closed off towards me. I know. I can sometimes be surly and aloof, but please forgive me. Yes. Yes, you accept? Yes! I want to marry you! I can't get married without our father being there. I beg you to forgive all of his sins. Louis, it's... Madam, uh, Emma, please. Give him another chance. I'm certain he'll take it. What are you suggesting? I don't know. Vote for his project at the conference, for example. It will show he can count on you and that we're all a real family. United. Louis, I... It's a lot to ask. I know. All right. You'll vote for his project? Yes. If it can bring us together, I'll do it. And he will give me his arm to walk up the aisle. Thank you, madam. I'll run along and tell father. I'll meet you later. Yes. See you later, my love. Damn it. What have I got myself into now? Do you trust him? What exactly are you playing at? What do you mean? Why are you asking me all these questions? Ah, all right. You still don't trust me, do you? You think I'm interrogating you? Look, we may as well stop right here in that case. After everything we've been through together, I can see you still don't trust me. It's nothing new either. You didn't want to tell me about the relationship between Sarah and my sister when you found their letters in the tower room. Please, leave me now. I would like to be alone. Come on, don't take it like that. I'm asking you to leave. Wait, are you Get just... Get out! Uh... Damn it. I didn't even get a chance to talk to her about the conference. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Emma? Come in, Louis. What can I do for you? What, with the conference soon upon us? I, I would have thought that... You are absolutely right. I wanted to wait a bit before talking to you, but as you are here, I've been thinking about what we shall do once we get back. How to arrange the house, prepare the rooms for the children. Yes, I want three, and the first one will be a boy. We shall call him Louis, like his father. Oh, man, this just keeps getting worse. She's drifting deeper into madness. Right. I can't exactly leave her like this, let alone allow her to be manipulated for the sake of this cursed conference. Mortimer has to help her. Please excuse me, madam. Just remembered. I've got something to do. Come back quickly, my love! Uh, I'll see you later, madam. I must warn Mortimer that she can't go on like this. I'm sure he can help her. Louis, there you are. Well, tell me, how did it go? I did my best. Whom did you manage to persuade? Father, before we start, I have a favor to ask of you. Do you really think this is the right time to ask? Yes. It might give you the impression that I'm forcing you, but... I'm listening. It's about Emma. Help her, please. What do you mean? She's in a bad way, Father. She's your daughter. We need to get her off the island as soon as possible. Her state of health concerns me greatly, and she needs to be cared for. She's losing her mind. Hmm. You are aware that she's Sir Gregory's guest, not mine. I'm not the only one who decides these things. I'm sure you can persuade him. All right. I'll have a word with him. Well, tell me, how did it go? I did my best. Whom did you manage to persuade? The Duchess will follow us. She will? Marvelous. But why didn't you tell me we were brother and sister? Now, Louis, don't blame me. I thought, as you were going through a very difficult time, that you had enough on your plate without having to cope with having a new sister. Otherwise, you can be sure I would have told you soon. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against 
the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France. Duchess Hillsborough. Four. Duchess Hillsborough. Four. Wait a minute. Isn't the Duchess supposed to be here? No, no. She's uh, resting in her uh, in her room. I confess I'm a little worried about her mental health. She's going through a very difficult time at the moment, and I wouldn't want my brother to exploit her fragility. I'll go now. Thank you, Louis. See you in a while. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Emma? Come in, Louis. What can I do for you? Well, the conference will be upon us soon, and I found some and more... And right you are. I've wanted to wait a bit before speaking to you about it, but as you are here, I've been thinking about what we'll do when we get back. How we ought to decorate the house, prepare the children's bedrooms. Yes, I want three, and the firstborn will be a boy. We'll call him Louis, after his father. <sighs> oh, great. This just keeps getting worse. She's drifting deeper into madness. It's almost a pity, but given what she's capable of doing, I won't feel guilty about taking advantage of the situation. She wanted to play, and she's lost. Anyway, we'll have time to speak about it later. Regarding the conference, as we're going to vote for Mortimer's project, I was thinking you ought to go and notify Sir Gregory that we won't be following him. Madam, I doubt that will go down very well with Sir Gregory. I must vote for Mortimer. I do understand, but I don't think I that... must vote for Mortimer. Oh, right. He's completely turned her. Let's not stay here any longer. I really don't feel like playing house with this mad woman. Perfect. I shall go and tell Sir Gregory right away. All right, I can't let her be taken advantage of for the sake of this cursed conference. If Mortimer doesn't help her, then I'll have to come down to home. Emma, listen to anyway, me. Anyway, we'll have time to speak about it later. Regarding the conference, as we're going to vote for Mortimer's project, I thought to myself, you ought to go and notify Sir Gregory that we won't be following him. For Mortimer? But I thought you weren't on very good terms with him. True, but he came and spoke to me and... He... well, I'm not exactly sure, but I shall vote for Mortimer. Anyway, go and tell Gregory that we've changed our minds. Madam, you shouldn't take part in that conference. What would you say about returning to England? I must vote for Mortimer. It's not reasonable... I must vote for Mortimer. I see Father hasn't left her much choice here. Very well. I'll go and tell Sir Gregory right away. I'll see you later then, Madam. I hope Gregory will be able to do something. She really needs help. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Emily? Emily, it's me. Come in, Louis. I just saw it. What's that servant doing in your room? A gift from father. <laughs> You're joking, right? Unfortunately not. He's worried about my health. Ah, oh, typical. Of course, I understand this is in no way an overreaction on his part. Anyway, I've come to see if you're better. That's very nice of you. Thank you. I'd appreciate it if we kept our last discussion to ourselves, Louis. I'm not very proud of the state I was in. Don't worry. Thank you. And did you manage to speak to Mortimer? One moment. I'd rather continue our discussion away from any curious eyes. Follow me next door, please. You wanted to know if we spoke. Well, let's just say he didn't stick around long, but yes, I can definitely say we spoke. And did he go all right? I imagine you spoke about yourselves. He confirmed what Sir Gregory told me, that he really is my father. That he didn't know I was his daughter until a short while ago. And, well, how are you? Did you take it all right? To be honest, I don't know. I feel like I've lost all my bearings. And what about me, then? Do you trust him? 
Are you joking? I'll never be able to trust him. He distills the information that he's willing to share, a drop at a time. He manipulates the people he needs and gets rid of those in his way. Sure, he's our father, but he can't count on me to follow him in everything he does. And you? What do you think? Honestly, I don't know who to believe. The only person I really trust is you. So, I'll follow you this time round. I won't be voting for him. I'm not convinced by his proposition. I'll be voting for Sir Gregory. I understand. In that case, I'll vote for home, like you. But it won't please father. That's only to be expected. But, well, it's not my fault if he hasn't been able to convince me. Don't worry. He'll get over it. Right. I won't disturb you any further. See you later for the vote. See you in a while. You should get ready for the conference, Louis. Ah, Louis! I, uh, was getting impatient. So, tell me, have you been able to speak to everyone? Absolutely. And? Did you find a... A traitor in our midst? Well, Emma's become deranged since the death of her sister. She thinks we're going to get married and... I'll take care of her. It's the after effects which are only to be expected. I'll go and see her, rest assured. That'll be perfect. Thank you, Uncle. So, are you going to tell me if there is a traitor amongst us? Can we trust Emma? Emma? She's on your side, of course. Yes. She is a valued asset. Ah, Louis. I, uh, was getting impatient. So, tell me, have you been able to speak to everyone? Absolutely. And? Did you find a... a traitor in our midst? Before I go any further, I'd like to talk about Emma. Yes? What's wrong? She's ill, Uncle. She needs help. She cannot reasonably take part in the conference. What do you mean? Louis, I know that what happened recently was difficult for Emma, but do you realize what you're asking of me? Sir, she's completely out of her mind. Even if you asked her to vote, you wouldn't be able to guarantee she will vote for you. She's locked herself in an absurd fantasy world. I implore you, don't make her do this. Well, I can see there is great kindness in you, Louis. But I'm afraid... Make her leave. Find an institution that can help her, please, sir. You don't need her to win the vote. Whatever happens, I'm with you, and I can assure you of my vote. We can't lose. Very well. I've always attached great importance to our family. And even though it saddens me to confess it, I must agree with you that the poor girl is in a very bad way. I will tell William that I'm removing the Duchess from the conference, and that he must organize her departure right away. Will that satisfy you? That'll be perfect. Thank you. And? Did you find a... A traitor in our midst? Can I count on Emily? Yes. She's on your side. I was right to trust her. I don't know if it's of any importance, but Father has given her a bodyguard. A servant dressed in black? Yes. Is, is this detail important? I hope not. We'll see. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against? The transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France. Duchess Hillsborough. Against. Duchess Hillsborough will also not be voting. The poor woman has suffered a lot of upheaval lately. As she was feeling quite poorly, she apologizes, but she preferred to return to the continent. The Duchess? I hope it's nothing serious. Don't worry, Mr. President. I had someone escort her. The Duchess simply needs rest. And now she is in good hands. Good God, I can't even move, but Louis can. What's happening? Help, help me. Is there anyone there? Help me, please. I'm all alone.
Is anyone there? I'm all alone. Emma? What on earth? We only wanted to play. We we didn't mean any harm. She sounds like a little girl talking. It's me, Louie. Oh, I know someone called Louie, but he abandoned me too. What on earth is wrong with her? It seems like her spirit has regressed. What are you doing here? I was playing. Oh, really? And what were you playing at? We... we were playing hide-and-seek, but I think I got lost. I'm all on my own now. And who were we playing with? With my sister, but I can't find her. Tell me, Emma, is Emily here too? Emily is always here. But she makes fun of me. She keeps hiding in the shadows to make me scared. And I... I get scared then. I don't want to follow her in. I'm all on my own now. Oh man, what can I do? Poor thing seems completely lost. Everything is fine. Emma, don't worry. Everything's going to be alright. You'll see. I'm here now. Dry your tears. You aren't going to abandon me? No, don't worry. You're not alone. Thank you, sir. Tell me now, what happened with Emily? We had a fight. She was always wanting me to hide, I think. But I don't want to play at hide and seek anymore. Do you know why she always wanted to keep on playing? The one who wins becomes the princess. And it's never me who wins. But I want to be a princess too. Okay. Okay. And you like playing with your sister? Of course. She's my sister. And do you love your sister? Yes, but sometimes she gets on my nerves. But you wouldn't want her not to play with you anymore, would you? Of course not. It would be good if you could both play at being a princess together, at the same time, wouldn't it? Together? Yes, each with your own stories. Oh, yes, that would be good. And we would have extraordinary adventures and we could speak about them together and... 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 I miss her so much. <laughs> Emma? Is that you? It's all your fault. If you and your mother hadn't come here, all this would never have happened. You're all the same. You're the one, Louis. You're the one who assassinated me. You should be proud of yourself. You finished what your mother started. Emma, don't be like- Leave me alone. I don't need you. Don't take it like- Leave me. Leave me alone. Scum! Bastards! I'll get you back! You've all manipulated me! I'll make you all pay! All of you! Mindful, alas, that we ourselves have had a share in such great indignities, which we now deplore from the depths of our hearts, we humbly ask your pardon and declare our readiness to atone by voluntary expiation, not only for our own personal offenses, but also for the sins of those who, straying far from their path of salvation, refuse in their obstinate infidelity to follow you, their shepherd and leader, or renouncing the vows of their baptism, have cast off the sweet yoke of your law. Emily? Louis. You were reciting something. A prayer of atonement. It's my punishment, Louis, for what I did to Emma. I must do penance for all my sins. It, it's a lot more complex than that. You're in the ether and... I am dead, Louis. I am stuck at the place of my death and I can't seem to move. And I'm talking to an apparition that represents precisely why I lost my mind. The one for whom I committed the unforgivable. Emily, listen to me. I assure you... No, no, that's enough. I can't bear it anymore. Even in death, I have to pay for my errors. Isn't being dead payment enough? I am damned. Leave me alone, demons. I don't want to listen to you anymore. Off with you, Satan! <sighs> Leave her, Louis. There's nothing you can do for her. Very well, Emily. Very well. 
In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, I confess my God, I have sinned. Away from me, Satan. Never again will I heed your words. In nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti, or renouncing the vows of their baptism, What am I doing here now? N nothing seems real. You are nothing but a coward. What a bunch of amateurs you are. Please, keep calm. What on earth is going on here? I don't understand a thing. Louis, don't waste any time. Appease them. My thoughts are becoming confused. Help me. Be quick. Yes. Not a minute to lose. I have to protect my sister. Help me, Louis. Emma is completely lost. She needs to be close to her sister. As for Emily, well, she no longer trusts anyone. Apart from me, that is. I have to stay by her side. God damn it. I don't understand a thing. I'm doomed. Looks like I've succeeded. They've all disappeared. Louis, it's worked. But don't waste any time. Yes, I'm coming. At least as soon as I found the exit. What? What are you doing here? You! It wasn't enough for you to let me be killed! You have to come here and stop babbling away at me! Fool! You couldn't have stopped her from shooting, could you? You can change your tone because I'm not the one who shot at you, remember? It's not my fault if your sister got rid of you like a dead weight! I... What you just said was nasty. That was for treating me like an idiot. I didn't want it to happen like that. I just wanted to exist a little too. But didn't you ever think there might be other ways of doing that? Obviously. It's easy to say that now. Louis, we have no time to lose. Help me, please. What on earth is she talking about? Come on, I... You're dead. No. There's got to be a solution. I am made of the same stuff as you. I already survived a gunshot at point-blank range. I will survive this. Help me. I'll go mad if I stay here any longer. I must have been here several months. I, I stopped counting from... Hang on. What are you doing here? Are you dead? No. Sir Gregory brought my spirit here, but I must get back as soon as possible. So you should be able to help me. Emma, I have no idea of what's going on. How do you expect me to help you? There must be a way. I beg you, promise you will help me, Louis. All right, all right, calm down. I'll do everything I can to get you out of here. Thank you, Louis. I knew you were a good man. Right. I must get going now. Just stay calm. Everything will work out fine. Louis! No! Don't leave me. Louis! Filthy scum, I'll kill you! I'll get out of here and I'll come looking for you, Louis de Richet! Do you hear me? I will find you! Is anyone there? I can hear you. I know you're there. Help me! Help! Can anyone hear me? It's not fair, I don't deserve this! I didn't do anything! Help me! Please. 
Emily? Louis? Louis! Who on earth is... Louis, where are you? I can't see you. In front of you, Emily. She can't see me? Louis, are you dead too? It's complicated. I thought Emma killed you. Oh, yes, that's right. She still doesn't know everything I found out. I understand that it must be difficult to forgive her, but if you think about it, salvation will be found in anger, Emily. It's all so unfair, Louis. A part of me does understand her actions. To hell with good intentions. On the contrary, I believe now is the perfect time to decide how you want to live your life. In bitterness or in peace. Think about it, Emily. But I thought, how is it that you are here? Can you move around? I'm going to have to be a bit blunt here, Emily. You'll have to excuse me, but it's quite baffling. Mortimer and Holm are age-old spirits who can change bodies. I... What? They're demons. Louis, are you feeling all right? And I am one too. Louis, you don't seem very well at all. <sighs> because William Mortimer is my father, and he's yours too. Yours and Emma's. <sighs> he's bestowed certain powers on me, like how to read a human mind, and even how to control it. Look, I know it, it's a lot to take in. Are you all right? Yes. Actually, no. How do you expect me to feel? It would be easier if you told me you'd simply lost your mind, or even that I've lost my mind, which would at least make some sense. If only something inside me didn't vibrate at the sound of your words. I'm not making it up, Emily. You've got to believe me. And where are we then? In the ether, I think. Think of it as a psychic dimension. Oh. Well, that explains it then. Do you have any more bedtime stories like that? Well, you are dead. Yes, of course I am. I should have known. Ask a stupid question. Yes, I know, Emily. It's, it's hard to believe, but even if it seems insane, I, I assure you that it's all true. We are dead, and we're talking in the ether. Well, not exactly. You see... I'm not dead. What? But if you are here without being dead, then there must be a way out. Help me, Louis. I am begging you, help me. I'll do everything I can to find a solution. You... you promise? Yes, trust me. I must go. Wait, wait, don't leave me. F for pity's sake, Louis. But I must if I'm, I'm to find a solution. Be brave, Emily. Yes, I understand. I trust you. I'll be back for you, I promise. Louis? Help! Don't leave me! Louis! Louis! Come back! My own sister. I should have left her to die when the Tsarina caught her. I really am so stupid. It was obvious that she would betray me one day. That bitch! You made your choice, and you have lost. <laughs> I was wrong about him from the very beginning. He's mad. He must be stopped. You can still do something, Louis. Don't let him get away with it. Please. I have been following you, Uncle, and I shall remain with you. Thank you, Louis. But w what must I do? We must notify the family about what's happening here. Let me enter you. I shall empower you to do so. What? No, Uncle, you can't ask that of me. Louis, it's the only way. I must teach you how. But that's the rule. Never let anyone possess your mind. Louis. Sorry, I can't. Look at yourself, Uncle. You're just as bad as he is. Despite being centuries old, despite all the wisdom you should have acquired, I don't believe in you, nor do I believe in him. You can count on me to do my utmost, so that neither of you will succeed in your plans. Louis, it's over for me. It's up to you now to protect our family. Find your sister, Louis. She'll know what to do. What are you saying? Find her. It's over, brother. Don't fight it. You will be punished for this. Perhaps. But you won't be there to see it, will you?
You will be put. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. No doubt about it. This family is rotten to the marrow. I did right not to trust them. Home told me that my last resort was to find my sister. I hope Emma will be able to help me. Ready before I go. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Well, I hope Emma is fully recovered. E Emma, excuse me for turning up Louis, like. Louis, your timing is perfect. I'm not so sure. Home is dead. Killed by Mortimer? I saw it with my own eyes, but. You don't seem surprised. Can you explain? Sorry, there's not enough time to. Looks like she's better. Louis, I have brought Emily back from the ether. I beg your pardon? It was the last thing Holm did, as if to give us a chance of making it through. He guided me step by step just before he disappeared. Unfortunately, I could only bring her back in the body of a servant. Are you serious? You brought her back in the body of a man? Have you seen many women on the island? No. So I had to make do, and anyway, she'll have all the time she needs to find another body if we get out of here alive. I don't think now is the right time to be cherry-picking bodies. I don't want to rush you, but time is short. We are in great danger. When Holmes sensed his death was imminent, he warned me that we would be next. It was to be expected. But why attack us? We are his children, so... Good God, the bastard! What? Louis, what's the matter? He's going to devour us! What are you talking about? I've seen what he did to home, Emma. He's going to absorb us. I know it! I think this has been his plan all along. Explain yourself. The paintings. He announced it to us from the start. Look in your room. The paintings about you. William Pitt, the Queen of England. There's even an orphanage. Who chose all the paintings? He did. So what? My paintings are Saturn devouring his children, the fall of the dam, the incredulity of St. Thomas. He's been laughing at me the whole time. And where is he waiting for me right now? In the dining room. Remember, what are the paintings in the dining room? Pigs, I think. Yes. Circe turning her guests into pigs, so they themselves become the meal. The sick bastard. We aren't going to let him get away with it. You wouldn't know how to defeat an ancient, child-eating, all-powerful demon, would you? Well, believe it or not, he gave me the answer himself. We're gonna need the blood from a demon older than him. Sarah thought that the Holy Lance had tremendous power over Mortimer. I'm going to try to find it. I'm going to pretend I didn't understand what that implies. Go on. Meanwhile, I'll stay and help Emily recover. Join us in front of the dining room where Mortimer is resting as soon as you have found it. Are you sure you're ready? You were all right? Yes. Yes, I feel a lot better. It's... it's all a bit strange. Sister, I believe we're ready for the end game. You found the lance. I don't know where to begin, and, and time is running out. It's hard for me to help. Where did you last see it? Well, Napoleon took it from me. That's where I would start. Yes, you're right. He didn't know what it was. He might still have it. You had better check. Make haste. You really must lay your hands on it, Louis. An object that touched the blood of Christ. It's not the kind of thing you come across every day. Think hard. I have faith in you. Louis, there you are. Look, she's better. Perfect. Good. Are you ready, Louis? Can we go? Yes. Let's get it over with. Louis, I've been expecting... Oh, I see you haven't come alone. 
To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, father. Emily, you brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis! Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah, how dare you! Keep going! It's working! You creatures are pitiful. Tell me, Emma, are you sure you are right to bring your sister back in that grotesque body? On the contrary, Emma, Emily will be able to exist by herself. Once she's changed bodies, you'll finally be able to live your own separate lives. No more resentment or comparisons ever again. You'll be free at last, Emma. Perfect. Emily, you have always been the dominant one. And you expect me to believe that you're now going to simply hand over your whole life's work? You can't fool me, my girl. I can read you like a book. Emma, Emily, don't believe a single word of what he's saying. You both braved hell together, united, and that's the only way we can get out of here. Louis is right, Emma. Yes, you are right, Louis. We will not be misled by this kind of manipulation, father. Good. We stand firm. If this continues, Mortimer won't have any hold on us. Emma, my dear daughter, let me help you. You have won. Look, you have it all. You. Ah, Duchess Hillsborough, you are rich, you are young, beautiful, influential. I'm so proud of you. You are the one I've been waiting for. You know what she's like. You know she harbors vengeance in her heart. She'll never let you have all this to yourself. Never. I beseech you, let me help you. Let me protect you, darling. Emma. Look at her. Look at Emily. You know her. She knows you. But I... Go on. Look at her. It is her. She loves you. She's counting on you. Emma, help us. My sister. Get him! No! Louis! No! No! Don't do it! It's over. You've lost. No, no! No, stop! Oh! Oh! <laughs> My son! You will regret your actions when you see him. Come, Louis. It's over. Let's leave. You go on. I'll meet you on the wharf. Expecting. Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, Father. Emily, you brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, Father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis! Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah, how dare you! Keep going! It's working! You creatures are pitiful. Tell me, Emma, are you sure you are right to bring your sister back in that grotesque body? Mortimer! 
Is this how you manage to manipulate your brother? Now, now, Louis, don't think you can change the topic so easily. The question remains open. Emma, after everything Emily has been through, a life lost creating this character, do you really think she's going to just let you take over the main role? Emily, I promised you we would find you a better body. I'll do everything in my power to help you. No, 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 stop, Emma! He's trying to manipulate you. You killed her. And now you think she's just going to, what, leave it at that? I know. You will never forgive me. Don't listen to him, Emma. I swear, I mean you no harm. Oh, shit. He succeeded. Emily, you have always been the dominant one. And you expect me to believe that you're now going to simply hand over your whole life's work? You can't fool me, my girl. I can read you like a book. Emma, he's lying. Don't listen to him. He'd do anything to undermine us. No, it's true, Louis. The Emily I knew would never have accepted such humiliation. Emma, no! Trust me. She spent her life creating this identity, day after day, and playing the main role. And you think now she's going to agree to be your servant? I am sure you have already planned your vengeance. Damn it, she's yielding. No, Emma! Stay calm, I beg you. You're playing right into his hands. This is all your fault. No, Emma. Stay concentrated. To hell with your plan! Emma! Louis manipulated us, Emily! Open your eyes for crying out loud! Stop! Emma, no! What on earth are you doing? Let him deal with father himself! It is not my problem! Louis! No! I should never have trusted you again. We've lost everything because of you. Here, my daughter. I'm proud of you. You know what to do if you want to make sure she never betrays you again. All your fault. No, Emma. Stay concentrated. To hell with your plan! Emma! Louis manipulated us, Emily! Open your eyes for crying out loud! Louis! <sighs> you see? You've lost, Father. You... You did it. You did it. We did it. I never really thought we'd manage to pull it off. But we did. Stop! As the son of Lord Mortimer, I order you... Shame, really. You had such promise. You were supposed to be my next vessel. What a pity that you poisoned yourself. Right. Take the lance from my son and finish him off. Then do the same with the other one. And clean the mess up. In any case... What's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. No doubt about it. This family is rotten to the marrow. I did right not to trust them. Home told me that my last resort was to find my sister. I hope Emily's in her room.
I'd better get ready before I go. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Emily? Yes. What's happening, Louis? You look... I... Ho Holm is dead. Good God, he did it! What do you mean? He warned me that Mortimer would probably try to get rid of him. He couldn't believe it himself, but we have to admit that he was right to be wary. We are in great danger, Louis. Wait, what are you talking about? When Gregory came to warn me, he assured me that we would be the next to go down. I don't understand. Why would Mortimer attack us? His brother, then his children. He feeds on us. Pardon me? The bastard! It's been right under our noses all this time, Emily. Saturn devouring his children, and without Gregory to obstruct him. Now, we're easy prey. No, no, it's, it's impossible. No. He's insane, Emily. But, but don't worry. We're together now, and he doesn't know that we know. Which means that we have the advantage. When I brought up the possibility of us running away as quickly as we could, Gregory dissuaded me. He thought that Mortimer would see it coming, and that we would have no chance. I guess I agree with him. And now we're here. I'm not gonna let him get away with it. There's two of us now, Emily. We can count on each other. Well, on that note, I haven't told you everything, Louis. This might be a bit hard for you to accept, so I wanted to warn you. There are three of us. Surprise, brother. Excuse me? It's Emma, Louis. Just before he disappeared, Holm explained to me how to bring her back from the ether. We were pressed for time and... And the only body she could find was one of those cursed servants. Can you believe it? Emma, don't start, please. I didn't exactly have much of a choice. Be that as it may, I'm the one inside the body of a masked lackey. I had to deal with the most urgent thing first. We'll try and get you out of there as soon as we can. Just as I promised you. And I'll make sure you make good on your commitment, sister. Emma, for the last time... She is better, don't worry. Being a demon changes many things, and the prospect of getting stuck in the ether for eternity has opened her eyes. Well... I guess it's your decision, but I hope you know what you're doing. Are we ready? Can we go now? Louis, at this point, it doesn't matter what you think about me. You need me. I'm guessing you are well aware of what we're about to face, aren't you? Not really. No. That's just what gives us a chance, is it not? It's usually the only argument the Reckless have in their favor. Take heart. We're only about to confront an age-old creature that can read our thoughts and force us to act against our will and wants to devour us. So what's the problem? If that is your attitude, I suggest we reevaluate the possibility of running away. Stop it. Let's all just calm down. Only a few minutes ago, it was just the two of us. Things are looking up. Our chances are only getting better. How do we get rid of him then? Killing him won't change a thing normally. He is capable of changing bodies. I know how to kill a demon. And the irony of it is, he's the one who revealed it to me. We have to make him touch the blood of an older demon in order to encase him in his mortal body. This is the only way that might give us a chance of dealing him a fatal blow. And I've got the Holy Lance. What's that got to do with demons? Christ was his father. Believe me, if we get out of here alive, I'll have a lot of juicy details to tell you about the family. This lance actually receive the blood of an ancient demon, and it can work on Mortimer. Let's do it then. Are you sure you're ready for this? Will you be all right? Yes. Yes, I feel a lot better. Don't worry about me. As you wish. Louis, there you are. Look, she's better. Perfect. Good. Are you ready, Louis? Can we go? Yes. Let's get it over with. Louis, I've been expecting... Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, father. Hmm, Emma. You brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, Father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis, 
Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah! How dare you! Keep going! It's working! Get him! Oh, Louis! No! No! Don't do it! It's over! You've lost! No, Louis! No! Stop! Oh! oh. <laughs> My son! Come, Louis. It's over. Let's leave. After you. Get him! Oh, Louis! No! No! Don't do it! It's over! You've lost! No, Louis! No! Stop! Oh! Oh! <laughs> My son! And to think you did all that for nothing! What do you mean? Uh, Louis? Uh, um, Louis! Didn't he tell you? He was poisoned several days ago. He was condemned. He sacrificed himself for us. What a pity he got the wrong lance. Uh, oh, what have you done to me? I hope you aren't in a hurry, my daughter, because you are going to die here. Uh. Don't expect any of the family to come to my place in the ether to bring you back this time. Get him! Oh, Louis! No! No! Don't do it! It's over! You've lost! No, Louis! No! Stop! Oh! oh. <laughs> my son! You will regret your actions when you see him. Come, Louis. It's over. Let's leave. The Duchess, through her relationship with the Crown, made it possible for Great Britain to build closer links to the United States on both the diplomatic and the commercial fronts. She became inseparable from the Marchioness Cunningham, reputed for being the most influential mistress of King George IV of England, and whom she inducted into the Golden Order. The Duchess, enabling Great Britain to build closer ties with the United States, on both political and commercial fronts, was her last diplomatic feat. She gradually withdrew from the English court and had to retire to the country, 
supported by her ever-present friend, the author Jane Austen. They say that the Duchess inspired her novel, Emma, which became a bestseller in the year 1816. The Duchess remained close for a few years to the royal couple, until George III's health inexplicably worsened. She suddenly vanished from the royal court upon the advent of the regency of the Prince of Wales, George IV.